blindfolded. They're both blindfolded. Oh. <laughs> Come on, get real. Hi everyone, it's John. And Ryan. And Jenna. And welcome to part two of our dollar store challenge as the three of us try to determine what is the name brand product and what is the dollar store equivalent. It was pretty tough last week. I'm not even sure what the score was. Ben is keeping it under lock and key until the very end of this video. Top secret. So how about we put our handy blindfolds on and start part two. So this is Quaker Chewy Chocolate Chip Granola Bars versus Select Choice Chewy Chocolate Chip Granola Bars. I like the I like the generic name, name brand. <laughs> These are tricky dolls. Stickier. Alright, you guys ready? I'm ready. Right. Jenna doesn't look like she's ready. I don't know. Good. Okay. Which one is the Quaker chewy chocolate chip bars? A or B? So up first we have Newton's fat free fig Newtons. These are official fig Newtons? Yes. Versus okay. the Daddy Ray's Fig Bars. Oh, sweet Daddy Ray's. <laughs> that are low fat. So, you got fat free and low fat, so that should cancel each other out taste wise. Yep. It's okay. been a while since I've had a Fig Newton either. Yeah, me too. I, <laughs> I I think I was probably like 10 years old the last time I had a Fig Newton. I don't think I've ever had a Fig Newton. Well, you're, you're, like, you're about to now. Yeah, I remember the taste now. <laughs> They're grandma cookies. They really are. That's where I used to have them at my grandmother's house. <laughs> Sorry. We're going to lose our, our fig connection. <laughs> Sorry to all the fig people out there. No <laughs> fig Newton sponsorship coming this way because of you. There you go. Holy cow. I'm going to try one as well. <laughs> wow. Alright, you ready? Which one is the Newtons, Fig Newtons? A or B? I'm going to go with the one I like. <laughs> Keebler Fudge Stripes Original Cookies. Ooh, I love those. Versus the Oven Baked Stripes Shortbread Fudge Stripes Shortbread Cookies. That's a <laughs> I'm getting one? nervous when people start laughing when I'm blindfolded. <laughs> Which is me. Which one is the Keebler fudge striped cookie? A or B? Alright. You still in the right word. A and B. Yes. Have you mixed them up? Have you moved them? <laughs> he, he's a little more active on the table than you guys are. Just waving it around like a checkered flag. <laughs> this round is Nobisco. Nobisco. No. no Bisco. Let me no. try that again. There's another generic brand, No Bisco. <laughs> this round is Nabisco Double Stuffed Oreo versus Little Dutch Made Chocolate Cream Cookies. Like, is it Dutch made as in it was made by Dutch, or is it like Dutch made like a woman who's a maid? Well, there Dutch. is a woman on the count on the cover that is dressed Dutch. Okay, so it's M A I D, not M A D E. M. Yeah, M A I D. Okay. Does it matter? No, not at all. I'm very <laughs> curious. Okay. <laughs> oh. That is a very odd flavor. I was trying to keep my facial expressions, you know. I was trying not to say anything, but yeah, that's terrible cookie. Mm -hmm. It tastes burned. Uh -huh. It tastes a little bit like coffee. <laughs> it really does. Oh, I don't even think I need to try the other one. Do you want to try the other one? I would like to try the other one. I would. Okay. Just to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really bad batch of Oreos. What was the expiration date on that first one? <laughs> Not sure what's going on, but... Jenna already has her stick up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put my stick up, too. Did you take my stick? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Out of all the things we tried, the only thing that I don't think I could mistake for an Oreo were those cookies. 
They tasted burn to me. They, yeah, they, they really dropped the ball. They, I don't know if the Dutch maid has ever tasted an Oreo before. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing Oreo. like it. I don't think a Dutch maid even tasted one of her own cookies. No, no. <laughs> so, okay, but I'm curious about the result. I think it's going to be pretty close. It could be anyone's game here, guys. And the results are in. Okay, here we go. All voices. All voices. All votes have been tallied. <laughs> all votes have been tallied. Jenna. I'm sorry, but you only got five right. <laughs> How many were there? Ten or eight? Eight. Five out of eight. That's not that's bad. You got five. Better than half. And. But that's good, though. That just means I can't tell between the the name brand and the generic. John and Ryan. Uh-oh. Are we tied? You guys are tied. Wow. For first place. Getting okay. all eight correct. All eight. Wow. Nice job. <laughs> so what are we going to do for a tiebreaker? I don't know. I'm pretty full. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever can eat more old maid cookies. Old Dutch maid. I wasn't sure on some of them, but uh, some of them were shot in the dark, like the Fig Newton one. Yeah. The between. bigger one. Yeah, it was definitely the dollar store one, the one that you liked. Really? Yes, like was the, the Dollar Tree one. The big, the generic brand was actually bigger. Yes. Interesting. That's because it was di- it was the, the exact because it was the opposite with the what the heck am I trying to say? The cereal. Oh, the Frosted, the Frosted Flakes. Flakes. Yeah. I don't even remember what I guessed on the Frosted Flakes. That was another one that I was <laughs> guessing. <laughs> this is some of what I guess. This is the way I thought they tasted. Yeah, I thought they both t- both of the cereals tasted good, and uh, the wheat thins in the generic brand were. Very, very similar, I thought. It's a tie. I thought it was going to be... Well, it was a challenge, but I'm, I'm shocked. I'm in shock that I got them all right. Yeah, I... I don't know. I'll cut that out. Yeah, side. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Well, it was a stupid challenge. <laughs> no wonder we haven't seen this one yet. <laughs> <laughs> they dragged it out two weeks for that. <laughs> <laughs> two weeks of disappointment. All right, so it sounds like Ben has an idea for a tiebreaker. He just happens to have more Oreos kicking around. Here. Imagine that, more Oreos here. You know, like Uncle Scrooge's money bin? Yeah. Ben hey, has, hey, ben hey. That's a bin full of Oreos. He dives into it every night. Who shares Swift. this office? So it's Ben's cookie bin? Yeah. Ben's cookie bin. Puts on a little bathing cap <laughs> and dives in. And you're going to eat them. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's going to be double stuff. Versus mega stuff. Ooh, mega stuff. <laughs> it doesn't have stuff in the title at all. Mega stuff. <laughs> it's double stuff or mega stuff and only one F. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it was stuff. Duh. I thought so too. That's what I was saying. What is that? Or stuff. S-T-U-F-T. <laughs> Stuffed. Twice the Dutch me. Oh, it would be funny if we just switched it without knowing. <laughs> That would not be. <laughs> hmm? What if we tie this one too? I don't know. We're gonna be here all night eating junk food. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like, <laughs> For the win, which one is the mega stuffed? A or B? <laughs> that was a little timid, Ryan. <laughs> no. Okay. Dramatic effect. All right. And the winner is. You can take your blindfold off. The winner is Ryan. I am mega stuff. Oh, there's only one F. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> I feel mega stuff. <laughs> Me too. Holy smoke. So congratulations, Ryan. You won. What's Ryan trying? Well, I would hope I would. Well, it's not always the case. It's not. You have had a winning streak lately. You won the smoothie challenge. You won the dice thing. So what are we going to be trying next week? Any ideas, Jenna? Ooh, I found these. Jenna has the next What's Ryan Trying. What is they're that? Doritos Roulette. They all look like nacho cheese, but there are some that are hot. And they have the warning on there. So it says, attention, some chips are very hot. I don't do good with spicy stuff, Ben. No, you do not. All right. right. But there's a hot chip in every handful, it says. So. Okay. All right, so... We have that to look forward to. Stay tuned next week. I guess our streak of yummy challenges is over now. Well, well it depends on it which depends one you get. depends on how lucky you are. <laughs> I guess so. You'll have to see next week who uh, gets the hot chip. Or maybe we both will. Maybe Ben will. Yeah, all four of us going to try it? Yeah. 
the fact that he boozled or kept. No. <laughs> Nothing not is nearly as bad as the bean boozle. So if you like our dollar store challenge, which we both tied at, but the tiebreaker went to Ryan, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And like us on Facebook and Twitter. And Instagram, too. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye.